The purpose of the meeting was to discuss the serious ongoing concerns the WEA has been witnessing with district leadership, deteriorating morale at Waltham High School, and the poorly conducted principal selection process following all of the screening committee's hard work. Between schoolwork, sports, and clubs, I had a lot to fit in my busy day. As a committee, we all took the time to look and read over what each individual candidate had to offer. My perception that the slate of finalists that was put forth was done so with confidence and even enthusiasm. In full transparency, I count myself among those who are disappointed and frustrated. Dr. Eccleson unilaterally ignored the search committee's recommendations and made the seemingly arbitrary decision that none of the three candidates forwarded were qualified. By dismissing the committee's work and ignoring three finalists, we also feel dismissed and ignored. Educators expressed feeling, quote, disrespected, forgotten about, or, quote, pushed aside through this whole undertaking. It feels like the convening of committees is an exercise of going through the motions and that those that are making the decisions are regularly making them without any serious regard for the input of the educators, students, and parents. We conducted just a simple survey of high school educators in which we asked them to provide open-ended feedback. They were overwhelmingly negative, centering around the sense of unease and anxiety, feeling shut out, disrespected, and undervalued. Of the more than 113 responses, only two were supportive of the current administration. Time and time again, teachers and our students are given the same message. Your voice is not important nor valued. What we, the student body, need is a stable leadership. If the student body isn't included, we should at least be informed. There is a general fear that Waltham Public Schools is quickly earning the reputation of being poisoned by poor administrative decisions, negative publicity, constant transition, endless interim positions, and widespread discontent. Many educators believe that the turmoil caused by current leadership will create long-lasting problems for our school. It's, quote, starting to feel like we're the district no one wants to be in, and it's not a good feeling. How will we find competent, lasting leadership in the future with this reputation? Staff, last week, Dr. Eccleson wrote, quote, the next permanent superintendent will make the appointment on the next Waltham High School principal, end quote. This means that Waltham High School will have a three-year interim principal who was unilaterally appointed by an outgoing superintendent without a public or inclusive process involving stakeholders. We contend that a three-year position cannot be reasonably characterized as interim. By repeatedly asking people to give of their time, share their expertise and opinions, and commit to potentially difficult conversations for the good of the district, only to then feel they are ignored. That is a surefire way to erode trust in the process. Again, I, I really don't think this has been done intentionally, but I'm also not sure that everyone in decision-making positions realizes just how much it matters. Students want to have an input and care deeply about our school and our teachers. We want to feel valued because we are the future of Waltham and believe in the community here. And you have a rare opportunity to hit the reset button and make everything right. And that I really do envy. And I hope you do the right thing. And I think you definitely got the message tonight. Thanks for your time. Thank you.